Hello everybody, welcome back to more Darkest Dungeon. We do have a couple names pulled from Discord here. Assassin of Hope on our grave, Robert and Taco on our vessel. I will, if you do have a preference of a class, I will try to do it. But it's going to be hard, I will be honest. But I'm, uh, I'm excited to be back. I think we're going to leave the upgrades for this, but I do... I'm thinking maybe I should put our team that is stressed out in the uh, in the tavern. I said last time I didn't think I wanted to, but I think it'd probably be wise. We don't want to have anybody stressed out. This mode is going to be harder than the last time. A strange glow at the farmstead. The comet's impact was felt here in the hamlet. Great impact toppled gravestones and kicked up a cloud of dust that covered the entire region. When it finally settled, an eerie miasma was seen to spread from the mill. It distorted the rules of time and space far beyond imagining. Venture to the miller's farm to see what has been done. Short apprenticed. Apprenticed. <laughs> apprentice. Uh, I guess I will do it. I am terrified, I will admit. Okay, so is Assassin just as good from position four? Yep. Okay, so you're my position four, you're my position three. There we go. To the farmstead we go. Defeat all enemies. And we get some of those comet shards that was showing before. We'll definitely give it a shot. I don't know what we need. It doesn't even offer food as one of the things. I'm gonna say better safe than sorry. Let's get a couple of all of it. Hell, I'll just... I know it might be a waste, but I don't know. We'll see. I don't know what the format of it is. I know that there's, like, you don't need torches when you go to the Crimson Court thing. He came to me, hat clutched tightly in filthy fingers, thinking of sweat and manure. Seated comfortably in my observatory, Surrounded by telescopes and other delicate apparatus, I recognized his misfortune as an opportunity. And I agreed to lend him my expertise. All right. It's always... Ah, it's so fun to hear new lines. Oh, this is neat. It's fun to hear new lines uh, from that announcer. It's such a solid silk voice. What the hell is happening, though? Hero party effects. Minus 10% healing receipt, plus 10% stress. Escape empty-handed. Current kills. What? Is this a... Hold on. Is this an endless wave business? Kind of thing? Is that what this is? I think we can go with... Okay. Okay. I don't know what the difference between these two is, but seven damage and a stun is pretty solid. Sow the seeds. Okay, glad we got the poison. I guess we should have stocked up on some more stuff. So we don't really need to worry about that guy. He's stunned for now. We can try to take this guy out. Is it a three bleed? It is a two bleed. Of course it is. Blighted. Let's get rid of that. I don't really want to have to deal with it. And we'll do that. It'll it'll be a kill, which maybe will save us. What, like five damage? I'm not sure. Defeated foes will swiftly be replaced by waves of despicable reinforcements. Your party must endure the onslaught without pause for hopes, hope for res respite. Okay, because of the strange nature of time's behavior in the farmstead, you can retreat with no penalty at any time. All farmstead quests have a kill meter, the measure of your might and ambition. Fill it by defeating monsters. When your tally hits a certain threshold, you will receive a reward. These will increase further in the venture. Back in Hamlet, the jeweler seeks these strange glowing shards, and he will trade you for unspeakable artifacts of power. Seems... Potentially really cool. 
we could go all out and try to grape shot. I think we'll just get a basically guaranteed kill there instead. Historically, I know I've really liked flashing daggers, so we'll try to maybe use them a bit. I'll do that mostly for the dodge debuff, because the torch doesn't matter here. We do have to pay attention to the stress. That is going to be an issue. Oh shoot. We can only only kill that one. So this one still has an attack left in it. Ceaseless labor. Huh? Just seems like a basic a basic attack. Gotta worry about Taco here though. Thank you for resisting. Just keep on doing that. I think it's just really solid damage. Definitely a little worried here. I think we'll go for an AoE heal. We can leave whatever we want, I know that, but I feel like we shouldn't leave until we get something. That's... I feel like it's quitting to leave earlier than that. Because I guess it literally is, isn't it? But we're gonna have to deal with this blight and that does suck. I was really hoping for a crit there. What? What? Please do five. No! What do you do? I don't really want to find out. Okay, that sucks. Well, Pedro still has an attack and I know he can do the two-person hit here. I was really hoping wouldn't go before Pedro. Just keep on doing that. I think three is the the optimal, isn't it? Can't can't do any better. So if we leave the corpses, do, whoa, what are you? Stealth cannot be hit. Have a shadowy appearance, cannot be hit to, by direct attacks, but are vulnerable to area of effect. Additionally, some hero skills such as the shield breakers expose, can hit them while in stealth. And they have the additional benefit of de-stealthing the monster. I know that over here, Taco has an ability that can de-stealth them as well. This is AoE, so it'll hit them anyway. Doesn't take them out of stealth, though. You know what? Ah, you stink. Etheron! Etheron! Do we even bother with the illuminating right now? Etheron's bleeding, bleeding through his boots. Come on. No. No. Vision. The end approaches. That really sucks. I could try to go for a big zealous accusation. Boo. Boo. Oh my god. Actual no. Actual complete no. We could leave. We should leave. We should have definitely left by now. What have I done? Etheron might die. Oh my god, what have I done? We can't heal him, can we? Okay, fine. I will be a baby. I don't want to lose Etheron immediately. The Highwayman is such a treasure. Okay, so, but now we understand it a little bit more. We collected nothing. And we get no downsides for quitting? Interesting. That's very, very different. But we unlocked the blacksmith and the guild, which I think are pretty, pretty handy. Okay, so they're still in the tavern. That didn't count for getting them out. We will face ever greater threats. Holy crap! With the stress, though. The bellows blast once again. The forge stands ready to make weapons of war. Oh, 
I think the guild is going to be something where we're going to want to focus on. That is the skill-based one, so we can purchase and switch and upgrade skills, which is a really good idea. I'm thinking we need to take them out. I was like, they need to go in because they're so, so stressed, but messed it up. Okay, so Etheron, what does he say? He will only go to the Penance Hall. Sounds like Etheron. Okay, so we got our, by default, we have a new team here. Let's upgrade our heals. First things first, actually, we can upgrade all of it. I might want to skip Illumination and go for something else, though. Or I'll skip that. There we go. Get rid of the Mace Smash and do Judgment since we can do that from position 3 and 4. And then... Ah, we gotta be careful. We don't have a lot of money. <laughs> gotta be careful. We'll do a short one. Antikrian... Antikrian. Let's go here. Throw Turdy in position three. Oh, geez, actually. All right, you go there. Vlad in back. Vlad's best in position three also. You guys have some conflict here. What can't be used in, okay. Incision. What can't be used? Illumination. Okay. For now, that's fine. Can't use lunge, but we can use it to pull assassin forward. If uh, thrown to the back. Uh, we made a mistake indeed. So you know what we gotta do? I think we should probably take one of these and sell it. Honestly, I think I'll take this. And I will sell it. Because I was kind of on the fence about it since it does make him slower. Full stack of that. Full stack of that. That is by far the most important stuff. <sighs> Can't sell these because they're just uh, because of the classes we're bringing. That's all we're going to bring. Maybe I should have brought less food. That's I probably should have brought less food and maybe brought some bandages. We'll find out. Probably won't matter. The halls of your lineage once familiar. Now, Keyword probably. Open. You have to explore 90% of rooms, which means we have to do all but probably one. Uh, I think, what is it? Is it anti-venom? I'm not going to mess with it. I'm not going to mess with it. We might get a stress penalty there. Okay, it's a treasure room. We'll do this one. Because you can backtrack through rooms and lose a lot less torch, torch light. Laden with loot are often low on supplies. And it doesn't look like there's anything really nasty on the way. Oh, it's a room battle with treasure, though. That's fine. I'm... Definitely worried about a uh, assassin hitting stress max. Give stealth. I'm actually sure. Oh, what? Okay, well that was not really smart after all. I should have read that it moved back. Minus 23 dodge. 
Let's just do some damage, I guess. Do our zealous accusation should definitely wipe him out and deal a little bit there. It's not great. So with the assassin, we'll use the move that pulls forward. It's a lot. It does a lot, a lot. Yeah, I kind of thought it would be a one-hit kill, so... Better to do it against the one that has more, more health there. So that crit is awesome for a couple reasons. One of them being it... Oh, man. It reduces the stress a little bit when you get a crit. Which can come in handy when we uh, <laughs> came in already stressed to the high hell. Let's say we just do a little AoE. Plague. I think it should be like guaranteed to hit at least once there. And since Turdy's the only one that needs the heal, it's totally fine to do that. Thrown dagger. Okay, we're good. Plague's got him. Got no keys, so we will just attempt to open that. Okay, well, no penalty. Just no reward either. Not gonna complain about that. Can we just talk about how freaking good this game looks? Like, it's not the most, whatever, like, technically proficient achievement in gaming, but they picked their art style, and they, uh, they really leaned into it so, so well. Dang, the game looks good. The light, the promise of safety. It's just so cohesive. It all it all just makes so much sense and it's fitting. I missed it. Curious oh no! Trap maker's art. Oh no! Unwitnessed by his own eyes. Sacrifice of fire is the gate to ruin. We are not gonna go and fight the whatever the shambler is that what it's called? We would definitely lose at least one of our characters. Okay, well we have to do it, or we. To do it or quit. But I think we'll just the match is struck. Oh, here we go. A blazing star is born. Oh. Bonus damage. Well, I was hoping that that would be a stress reduction thing. Okay. Vlad cannot undo a trap. Good to know. Ancient traps lie in wait. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. So we can skip one room. Give me max. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require That's all you got with your bonus damage up? Oh, come on! Well, at least we know that one's dead. Next turn. We don't even have to think about him. 15 health versus 12 health. We'll go for a single target on Vlad. Oh! Whoa! If we can do an AoE and, like, and kill one instead of single target, that's all. Ah! Don't you crit. Don't you crit. Okay, so you are dead. Come on, Turdy. I guess I'll play a grenade. Another chance to... Okay, it's not gonna work. <laughs> Oh, come on. Forgiving. At least it's not Assassin. That doesn't help either, though. Assassin's at the stress mark. Fearful. Shame. Fear and frailty. Finally First affliction of the of the uh, series here. Assassin the fierce, fearful. Fierceful. Nice clean hit there. Ooh. If only we could have done that last time, before the fearful. Pass? Great. Just what we need on our team. Someone who just passes. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Here's the question. Do I go for the heal? Assuming that we get a go before? Thank you. 
It's a little bit of a gamble because you don't... I think you can make an educated guess or if you know your numbers just in your the back of your head. You could uh, figure out which one's going to go first, but... There's one extra curio this way. We'll do it. Okay. Some object of deliverance. Okay. Well, Pedro is probably going to get stressed as well. Did you hear that? Suck it up. Come on. We need a crit from Pedro to reduce that stress. Uh, we can do that. Oh, that was lucky. We should be able to get them both with Pedro here. Little AOE heal. Thank you, Charity. Smooth. Just a little bit of stress. We got one torch left. The good news is. Everything looks fine. Like, I think... Yeah, there's no more fights. I shouldn't have done that. Not as... Not as Pedro. A map. It reveals nothing. There still is... I think there is the potential for, um... A secret room to be found, though. Thank you. I care not how, but perhaps this can save me. What? Terror Madness, you are making no sense here. Alright. That should be it. Doesn't look like there's anything to be gleaned from heading over there, so let's return to Hamlet. And we have a little trinket for when we finally get the Hound Master, which I'm holding out uh, my name for that one. Sorry, Assassin. Plutomania, ma Manic for money. Maniac for money. Turdy the Fragile, minus 10% max HP. Oh, geez. Plus 10% Blight Resistance. At least that's something. New courtyard quests available. Intolerable clouds of mosquitoes and other less identifiable pests continue to descend upon Hamlet. Maddening, persist maddening persistence, illness, and irritation abound. So I don't know what the deal is with the Crimson Courtyard. It's been a while. I've definitely forgot a lot about it. So let's throw... Oop. Wait a minute. Throw Assassin of Hope into the bar. Throw Pedro. There. Oh. Do we still have a team of four? No, we don't. Oops. We'll have to recruit somebody to have a full team for next time. Tortured. All right, we got a couple, a couple new names to call here. He seems. Okay. It's a pretty small list because I, I'm. Asked immediately after recording the last episode. We just got a couple here. Honestly, wants to be the bald one. I feel like he's talking about the man at arms. Let's go with that. <laughs> You're also bald. And how about. Actually, this works because uh, Noob was a occultist last time. Yeah, it works out. Everybody wants to be a jester. Everybody wants to be a jester. But anyways, yeah, if you want your name, your character to be named after you, or a character to be named after you, join the Discord. Link is in the description. And come in and let me know. So you can be a part of my my journey, our journey, through <laughs> Ritoville. We're going to stop it here. The episodes will get longer and longer as time goes on, as the quests that we take on go from short to medium to long. But this is going to be it for today. Subscribe to be notified when the, what I am tr going to try to do daily Darkest Dungeon episode goes up. You'll be notified. 
Like if you like it, comment if you have something to say. Thank you everybody for watching. I greatly appreciate any else more we should leave on the series up to this point. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.